So let's talk more right now about schools. Cincinnati students will start the school year with five weeks of remote learning. Now that decision was made last night, meaning many parents are now facing more tough decisions of their very own today. Reporter Marielle Carbone spoke to some of those parents who are still trying to figure out how they're going to manage. With kids set to log in from home, that means for many parents, they need to be home too, or they need to find somewhere for their kid to go. Now for working parents, this is just one more hurdle to jump during this pandemic, and it's one that can be costly. The back and forth, virtual or in-person learning is taking its toll. I feel like almost like a despair. And where CPS landed, five weeks of remote schooling to start the new year will be a challenge for parent Constance Mara. We're in this rock and a hard place. Her son is eight and going into the third grade, so he needs supervision. And while she's working from home right now, she needs to be working, not teaching. If I'm not sitting constantly with him, making sure he's doing whatever work is assigned, will it get done? And how can I do that and also complete my job. She's looking at child care options, but so far what she's found is costly. Don't have it in the budget to be, you know, spending $600 or more a month. And that was just for two days a week when I was calculating it, not five. For us, you know, obviously we want it to be safe. Mark Jeffries isn't concerned about child care. His kids are in the ninth, 11th and 12th grades. It's more so the structure. He'd like to see less self-directed learning on this sample schedule. That's basically homework right now. The suggestion yesterday was basically three hours in the classroom and the other self-guided. I mean, that's basically, you're going to lose kids. He also hopes teaching is more standardized, all classrooms using the same online platforms for teaching, but more structured or not. I don't know how we're going to be okay. Mara says it's hard to find any solace right now. You know, this is being put on mothers a lot. My husband has no flexibility in his job. He has to be on site. And so I can work from home, so it's left to me to, like, figure out how to manage this. And Mara points out that parents have always had the option to start their child digitally if they didn't want to send them into school. And she's also questioning why the district is not allowing kids to be in person when the governor has cleared way for daycares to open up at full capacity starting next week. That's a question she plans to ask the district at one of its upcoming town halls. Reporting in Cincinnati, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.